Hello everyone, this is next seven days for the sign of Taurus. Let's see where the energies are headed. The way I'm able to smoothly shuffle the cards, I feel that you are going to have a smooth sail. And no cards jumping out till now. So let, let's pick your 10 cards for the Celtic Cross. One, two. Sorry, I forgot to cut the cards and they're saying that, no, it is important to cut the cards. Okay. <laughs> they were like, no, it's not that easy. <laughs> uh, maybe you are forgetting something in your life and that person or that someone who is invisible or you are not seeing is playing games around it around you but then this person is portraying like a mentor or a guide saying that everything is fine we all are uh, meant to work as a team or be together or something like that be careful of some, if there's someone like that who is really acting like a mentor or trying to preach that everything is hunky dory and everything is nice and we all are in this together, something like that. If somebody's telling you a story of that kind, just run away from that person for next seven days because this person may not be a bad person, but this person is possessed by some kind of energy right now, which is not good for you for next seven days. Okay, this card had to come in the reading. At the bottom of the deck is the politics card. And on the other side, we have control. Someone who is as if acting that they are not controlling anything, but they are controlling a lot of things in your life. And they are also trying to distort your experiences. So let's get started with your reading. Right at the center is the exhaustion card. Somewhere you are feeling a little exhausted. You just don't want to continuously defend yourself. And this person is taking advantage of that. That don't worry, I'm there. Everyone else is here taking care of you and everything else. And we will be together when you really need us and this person is not really meaning that be careful right at the center is some kind of wish fulfillment it's you are exhausted you are working very hard towards uh, some kind of success and the problem is that someone else is also trying to find that success and there's only space for one person at the top of the peak. It can be either you or the other person and the other person is playing very good with you, playing that brotherhood card with you or the sisterhood card. And at the t when you are about to reach at the top of the peak, they are going to go and stand there on the top, taking up all the space and you will be next to that person at the second place. You need to decide. In past, you worked very hard to change yourself and you did everything possible to reach where you have reached because you have transformed every bit of yourself and you are in for big success. But I guess this was a warning. You were meant to hear that and now you will be more uh, very particular about your goals and aspirations and you are going to reach through that success. That's what the future card is saying that once you know this warning, you would uh, stay away from this person and try to protect yourself and reach on the top without having any conversation with anyone. 
all the people around you will try to play mind games with you and you need to be uh, protecting yourself because your only focus should be your goal. What below the surface is again anchoring you with abundance. So there is success, there is abundance in the future. So it's only the people who are trying to manipulate you and you need to stay away from them. Uh, the cards are suggesting that rather than staying away from them, try to have more balanced approach because they are doing what they are supposed to do because the universe is trying to teach you some kind of uh, lesson that how you need to be more specifically goal oriented at this point and they are possessed by some kind of energy so don't judge them don't be mean to them but then be very focused on your own energy because if you are mean to them then it you will create some kind of karma for yourself and you don't want to get into all that right your fear is that maybe People, if you don't acknowledge them, you don't uh, listen to them, they will try to bring this moment in future as uh, that reference point and they'll cling to this moment uh, and they will try to always irritate you. But that's your fear. If you are successful, nobody bothers about what happened, right? So don't worry. The advice for you is to trust and fly high so that you connect with your own consciousness your own subconsciousness so there is a deep connection with your subconsciousness there is a very strong footing towards success there is very strong footing towards abundance what else do you want <laughs> excuse me you just need to be goal oriented and not listen to others and everything will work out for you so that's your reading thank you so much for watching this video taurus until next time bye bye and namaste